Welcome to another Video Marketing Minute. I'm Eric Kalis, Chief Marketing Officer for Square2 Marketing. This being the first video of the new month, we have to establish our monthly theme as we've been doing all this year. This month's theme is going to be Driving Better Response. So today I'd like to talk about webinars. What's a webinar? If you've ever been invited to log on and see a presentation via the internet, that's a webinar. Typically, one person is doing the presentation with some kind of PowerPoint slides perhaps, and then they're distributing that presentation to all of the attendees who aren't sitting in a room all together, but yet are watching the presentation from their own computers, whether it be or home or work. A webinar is a fabulous example of a low-risk offer. If you remember earlier in our conversations, we're always emphasizing that you have to have three offers, or the trio of offers as we call them, in your marketing program. The no risk offer, the low risk offer, and the direct business offer. The webinar is a perfect example of the low risk offer. Say you invited someone to your website and they converted in the sense that they gave you their uh, contact information in exchange for a tip sheet or a guide that you offer on your website. Now that we have their email address, we can invite them to get a little closer to us by attending a webinar. So how do you make a good webinar? I'm going to give you the following nine tips on how to create a fabulous webinar. Number one, first thing you have to do is you have to really consider your target market. Who are they? Who do you want to do business with? The second thing you have to do is understand in that target market what pains and problems do they have when purchasing a product or service like yours. It's really important to understand what problems they have because the content of your presentation will exemplify how your company can solve those problems. Now that we have our uh, understanding of what we want to present, we have to have a killer title. And by killer title, we really have to have something that will encourage registrations. Try some numbers in your title, like the nine critical mistakes to avoid when getting your car repaired, or the six critical building blocks of a sound IT strategy. People like and respond to titles with numbers. They like tips and information to help them say, in a short period of time, I'm going to get a lot of information. So work very hard on creating a creative title. Now that you have your title and the date and time of your uh, webinar, we want to promote the heck out of it. We want to talk about it in our email campaign, post it on our website, put it out on social media, have every one of your employees use social media to tell all their friends, families, coworkers, and colleagues that you're having this presentation. Promote, promote, promote. You can even have your salespeople personally invite prospective clients to sit in since the information should be of value to them. Now that you've uh, started to promote it, it's time to start working on the presentation. Keep it short and simple. Use PowerPoint if you want, but certainly don't read from slides. Tell stories, because people really like to hear stories. Success stories, testimonial, case studies, all work really well in a presentation on a webinar. You also want to choose, as your sixth point, what software are you going to use? While WebEx and GoToMeeting are the most popular ones, there's some new ones like Livestream that don't cost too much money and can be streamed directly through your website. Number seven, you really have to have a good offer at the end of your presentation. What do I mean? Make sure that you can continue that conversation by asking if anybody wants to talk to one of our experts, they can register now, or for a free consultation, demo, whatever it might be. Keep the conversation from a sales perspective going after the webinar is completed. And finally, don't forget to follow up. It's so very important to follow up with an email after the webinar, perhaps offering them a link to the recorded version if they missed anything or they want to share it with their management team to keep the education going and spread the word about your company. I hope I got you thinking differently about a marketing tactic like webinars. They're cheap, they're easy, and very, very high return on investment. For more information like this, don't forget to check out square2marketing.com, and we'll see you next week.